So I have always been big on mysteries and things, and there were certain mystery shows I didn't watch grow, doing, growing up and doing things because they were just not, um, what's the word, they were too violent in a sense for me, and then I just was like, eh, they kind of got a little graphic at times, things like that. But I have recently started watching Perry Mason. And that is a show from the late 50s, 60s. I, I don't know how long it went, but I know that there's some in the 60s and late 50s. And I really love it. It is not too graphic. The language is clean. The, um, the storylines make you think about things. And they make you go, oh, okay, so that's how it's done, you know. Um, so, and the way that Perry Mason solves the cases, it makes you kind of wonder, ah, oh, okay, now now I see the how I figured that out. Um, and in the opening credits, he has this little, um, he does things, and then he just smiles and it's like he's smiling to himself in a way um and then it's the same with mystery books too there's have been mystery books that I have read that were just really raunchy and had a lot of um just they were just trash to me they were like I said they were raunchy they had more of a strong language that I didn't don't like there we go they had some strong language and they were just very very kind of anyways I'll just I've said it before but and so I like reading Clara Polson's books as mystery and Lynn Gardner's books they both are clean and I feel like I'm able to recommend them to someone without going, hey, you know, uh, there's this and there's that. And then I do, though, have one with some language in it, though, <laughs> and that is Psych. I feel like um, Psych is a good show with the language and things. I'm like, mm, and some of the humor, right? I probably, you know, won't do, but, um, I watched a few episodes with some family members a few years back, and never, didn't watch it again, watched a few more, uh, for a bit, and then watched a few more by myself later, and then, finally, this year, I started again on it, found it on Amazon Prime, started again, watched it through, and then... Um, started again, so I'm almost finished with it again. But, anyways, so for mysteries, I think, um, Psych and Perry Mason and Claren Poulsen, Lynn Gardner, Oh Betsy Braden Green is another one, um, Tracy Henner Abramson is another author. Just little things like that that, um, let's see, just... Those are a little bit of the mysteries that I like. Oh, and Nan I read Nancy Drew growing up. I loved Nancy Drew, and it didn't matter if I read the book. I think I had the whole Nancy Drew shelf in the school library read. Um, and I think I had them read like four or five times. So, anyways, let me know what is one of your favorite genres down in the description below. Another thing is if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I always put the handle in the description below in all of my videos. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.